Is that Lana Del Rey? <laughs> Wait, are you gonna ask me something? What was it like to die? Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> hold on! <laughs> Okay, wait, stop! Stop, I'm flustered already. Okay, so when I was in fourth grade, I remember one day I came home and I wasn't feeling very good. And I remember I wanted to go to bed early that night. And so I took a bath and I watched the Simpsons movie. And I was in fourth grade, so it made me feel really weird. And then after that, I got into bed. Okay, here's where it starts. Okay, so I remember waking up and... <laughs> Ah, we have to start over. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I remember waking up uh, gasping and I couldn't breathe. And I remember running out to my parents and trying to tell them that I couldn't breathe. But I couldn't really speak because I wasn't getting enough air. Um, I remember like bits and pieces because I was passing out. And I remember laying on the floor and my mom was screaming, um, Chris, her lips are blue. Her lips are turning blue. And I could hear them, but I couldn't see them and the ambulance couldn't find our house because we lived in a new neighborhood. So I remember passing out and waking up again when the ambulance had finally come. And um, I got into the ambulance and I had a mask over my face that was trying to help me breathe. And I kept trying to take it off because it wasn't working. And there was a man over me and he kept putting it back on. And um, right before the last time I passed out, I remember I grabbed his face and I told him I loved him. And then I remember everything went like white. When I died for a second, I don't remember seeing anything. I don't remember seeing any kind of afterlife. I remember it being white. I don't remember being scared. I think death is what gives life purpose. It gives our experience of meaningfulness to know that it can't go on forever. Death gives us a reason to limit our sorrow and grow bigger than our fears. I think for that same reason, death scares me. What if we don't limit our sorrows? What if we never grow bigger than our fears? What if we miss our only chance to live? It's the finality of death the uncertainty of what comes after. I don't know if I'm more afraid of a conscious eternity or one in which I'm never anyone again, but I think maybe my favorite thing about life is also the uncertainty. There is no one way to live. There's no way to predict how we will live, who we will be, or what will happen to us. I love that two lives could look extremely different, but neither one is right. Thank you.